I am sitting here trying to figure out how Carrie Bradshaw and all her friends have made it look so much fun dating, right? Like, it's like the energy's always there. You're excited to get dressed and walk around in painful shoes and waist makeup on these men. And I, I'm so stressed, you guys. My therapist told me I need to challenge myself and go on a date and be excited about it. The challenge is be excited about it. Go on a date with someone new. I'm not excited. <laughs> and it's weird because I do want to meet someone. I do, but dating when you get to a certain age is just not fun anymore it's very hard to not develop like this it's not bitter it's just like over it like it's all the same so if you have someone in your life that you have great sex with and you have a good time with and even if they're not in a relationship with you or y'all don't want to be in a relationship with each other it's almost like well at least you're not wasting my time right am i wrong i could be totally wrong and <clears throat> maybe something's wrong with me but i'm just so stressed and having about to have an anxiety attack about going on this date my name is medina monroe and i'm just here confusing everyone welcome to my youtube channel I'm gonna go put lipstick on. I'll be back. Okay. I wonder if you guys can still see me if I turn the light on. Yeah, you can. Okay. I am... <clears throat> Headed to my date with a good attitude. Hi, I'm Medina, nice to meet you. I'm Medina, nice to meet you. Oh, he already knows my name. Hey, hi. Good to see you. <laughs> hey, hi, yeah. That's me. <laughs> Head to my date. I'm not, I was trying to decide if I was going to ask him if he minded getting on camera, but I feel like that's getting a little bit too intimate. And so I'm not going to do that. What I will do is um, record on my way and then turn the camera back on if my battery doesn't die on my way back and kind of give y'all an update and a recap of how the day went. I will say that um, the place that he has picked, I have never been before. Um, and the reviews are, people are ranting and raving about this place. I've never actually even heard about this restaurant that he picked. So I will say that, um, it's starting off on a good foot. I, most of the time when you guys hear me complaining about dates, it's just simply because it is, it's draining to get ready, get excited and, and keep meeting, you know, people that just like, I won't say assholes because I I meet people that are good guys, but it's just not it for me. You know what I mean? Like, I wish that you could be like, hey, this, this I don't like you, but maybe I can help you meet somebody else. But that just, that's just not how it works. I've tried that before. Um, so it's just exhausting. And when I say exhausting, I just mean the actions of it. Like, I want... A relationship. I don't know why, because everyone that I know that's in a relationship just seems so unhappy. But, um, my body wants companionship, my mind, my soul, and it would just be nice to meet somebody that I'm compatible with. And not even that I haven't met men that I'm not, that I'm, that I'm compatible with in the, you know, I have, but it's like, we have compatibility in one area. And I'm really trying to like change. Like even um, this guy that I'm going on a date with, I did meet him on an app, right? And so we met up just to do like an initial meetup. And he was like, this, you know, I don't count this as a date. We went to a cute little place, but he's like, this isn't a date. Um, you kiss on dates. And I definitely didn't kiss him, which is so out of the norm for me because I do like to kiss. 
But this date, I'm a little nervous because I think he's gonna try to kiss me and I don't want that. I want to try to hold off on the physical as long as I can this go around in my dating journey. Just because like, I have somebody that handles that, you feel me? <laughs> okay, let's get on with this date. Let me put on some music. Let me actually put in the address. And I'm on time? Wow. Okay. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. <laughs> that should be my theme song, cause here I go, here I go again, bro. I was trying to think of like, um, first date thoughts when you're getting ready for a first date. And I would love to hear some of yours, if you have any, first date jitters. Like, what are you typically nervous about? What are you excited about? Um, what are you worried about? For me, I get nervous about the conversation. So I actually brought a deck of cards with me to play a conversation game if the conversation isn't there because I understand that I'm a very understanding person and most of the time I give people more chances than they should get. But when it comes to conversation, I know that I can get weird or nervous and one thing that I have learned about myself um, is when I meet people men specifically I go on dates with them uh, who are not this is weird even talking this out but who are not of the same race and this man is not they get really nervous and I also feel like a lot of men that I have dated after doing Temptation Island, they have watched the show and they don't tell me that. And it comes out on one of the dates and then it's seen, and then I'm like, okay, this makes sense as to why you were so nervous because you were kind of fanning out, if that makes sense. Um, I think that it's dumb. I think you should just like let that be known from the jump. Like, okay, you're gonna cause an accident. Um, but that's one of the things that makes me nervous is the conversation going to be dry because when conversations get dry, I do, I, I'm pulling out my phone, I'm getting on my phone. I am just not present anymore. And it doesn't take long for me for that to happen. And I'm, you know, you know, I'm trying to give people chances. So I, sometimes I bring a deck of cards with me. It's a conversational game card, uh, deck and it just, you ask questions that you typically don't get through the whole deck. Uh, in one sitting, but it, they just, it starts the conversation. Um, so that's what I get nervous about. I get excited about chemistry. I normally have pretty good chemistry as far as like the attraction is there. Now, I know y'all have heard me complain sometimes about the men, but uh, that's just because men don't know how to date. <laughs> But for the most part, the chemistry be there. That's why I have to tell myself, no sex, no kissing, no touching, no like overly flirting. That is my personality. And it's hard for me to turn it off, but I gotta turn it off if I want to make sure that it's real. Because I also know, excuse me, that having a sex podcast, a lot of guys, sex and dating, but you know, we get a little raunchy on there. A lot of guys sometimes will reach out just to fuck. And I'm not at my big age, that's just not what I'm on right now. Like, I'm flattered, by all means, thank you. Uh, but I'm not on that, like, so, uh, yeah. So, nervous about conversation, excited about chemistry, worried about, <laughs> worried about, how he handles how he handles me that's what I say I'm worried about how he's how he'll handle me and a lot of the times that's another thing that turns me off from men like very early on is that I want 
and deserve to be treated like a princess. And I won't even say a queen yet. I will say a princess. Because this these are the beginning stages. And men that think that women owe them something to be treated like that. And when they show that in their personality or they say it in conversation, I am I am immediately and I mean immediately turned off because I just I don't agree with it and so some you know do your thing if there are women that are okay with that the men that are out here listening to Kevin Samuels and talking about well what you gonna do for me I'm not having that conversation not yet you're getting to know me you're courting me and I wholeheartedly believe in that tradition of courtship when men are when men court a woman um, you, I don't owe you anything and that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles there are certain uh, double standards in this world and that's one of them so uh, that I get worried about that because I am in Atlanta and so many men are on this movement now of like well what you doing for me and they say it, like right off the rip I'm not doing shit for you bro not yet not yet but if we get past this courtship you know then we can talk about what I might do for you and even still don't say it with this level of entitlement that um, a lot of men are starting to have. And I love men. It's not like a thing of like, you know, fuck niggas. Y'all are just going to bow down to me. No, 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 no. I know my worth. I know what I deserve. I know what I've had. And I won't go back. So, to you know, to, to, to anything less than like royalty treatment. And I just don't think that's a lot to ask for. I'm not one of the women that's out here asking you to pay my bills. I'm asking you to show me how interested you are in me and not be worried about if it, if, uh, you know, if you're gonna fuck me or not. So, and if you are worried about that, you know, <laughs> nigga, go all in, <laughs> pull out all the tricks because the reality is <laughs> you might just get these draws tonight the right tricks out bro a bitch is not eating no, I'm just no, I'm kind of but all right I am nine minutes away I hope I don't have to valet I hate valet in my, my Nissan I really hate it and I should have just Ubered but I didn't want to I'd be like why am I Ubering when I have a car with a full tank of gas all right y'all the next time you see me it'll be after the date and I will give you a breakdown of to of how uh, it was Put on so much perfume, and it's gonna be like, bro, are you in a gasket? Like, what's going on? Ugh, you guys, it is a whole new day, and I totally forgot to log back in and vlog on my way home last night from my date. Now I'm on my way to a hosting. I'm hosting a Paradise and Vibe pop-up event. Um, it's a vision board party. I'm really excited about it, but I do want to give you guys a recap of the date. I had a really good time. Um, he is little, but I won't even focus on that. I had a really good time, and here's why. While sometimes I say things like, I don't always just wanna go to dinner. Um, I wanna do like an activity. We went to dinner. He picked a place that I had never been to before in Atlanta, had never even heard of it. And, um, it was called Bacchanalia, Bacchanalia or something. It was, I felt like a princess. And he was such a gentleman. And I mean, how much weight does that hold? I don't know because I have, I, I have met gentlemen before and they, you know, they do, a lot of the times, I say this all the time on the podcast, men do what they have to and need to do to get you, right? Women do just what they do because they love you forever. Maybe not forever. There, I'm not saying there aren't hiccups along the way. But most of the time, guys will do all these sweet things to get you. And then once they get you, they stop doing them. You're like, you used to always give me flowers. You used to always want to take me out. You used to always call me beautiful. What happened? Like, I'm always big on don't start off with those things if you're not going to keep up with them. If you start paying my rent, you need to keep up with that. If you're sending me flowers every Friday before you get the draws, 
you need to keep up with that. Do what you can keep up with. It's not even about what you got. It's about what you can be consistent with. Don't start doing it. Then you get me and you're like, all right, I got you. What's up? No, bro. No, no. But the date was fun. I may have hugged him at this dinner place. You, it was a four, you have to order each course. I didn't realize that you have to order each course. And, um, they had this thing called fr frog or something. It's, a duck situation. I just went and got in the wrong person's car. No, you didn't. They had a black Nissan Altima, <laughs> and they had like something in the front. <laughs> Y'all, I don't drive an Altima. First of all, it's a Sentra. Sentra. I don't even know what it is. That is hilarious. I'm on the whole wrong I said, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was um giving my YouTube channel an update on my date oh, last sorry. night. sorry. No, it's fine. It's actually good that you're in here. I went on a date last night. Okay. And yeah, I saw you didn't want to go on. I, did, I never want to go anymore. It's I draining. It. It's just draining. And I mean, you have to go on them because you have to meet people. And nowadays you're forced oh, to be on geez. apps. And I went and it actually was, I had a good time. Have you ever heard of a restaurant called Bacchanalia? Yeah. Hannah, it was very nice. I was actually like, I've never heard of it. Have you been? Yeah. I loved it. And I was like tapas and stuff like that, right? I don't know. And then they have like, you have to order the four courses and then they bring out little treats in between each meal. Maybe. It's over there in West Midtown by- Oh, maybe not. I had it was very ritzy. I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> you. Where did you meet this gentleman? Him. Okay. But, and he's Serbian. Okay. And so it's different. I t I decided I'm gonna go total left field. Okay. I am going. <sighs> I'm sweating through my shirt. Um, I'm going total left field. I'm gonna try something new. He is little though. Oh, he's little. He's little, but he's fine. He looks like a little Aladdin. A fine Aladdin. A little fine Aladdin. There you go. Get him. So, um, we'll see how it goes, but, you know, you know how it goes. They be acting right, then they don't. Yeah, it's true. It is true. <laughs> I don't know. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't even act right from the beginning with me. I don't even know. I don't even know what that feels like. On that note, um, thank you guys.